working on congenital muscular dystrophies, which are um, degenerative disorders of muscle that are present at birth. We're particularly working on a type called collagen 6 related congenital muscular dystrophies. A severe type is also known as type Ulrich congenital muscular dystrophy. It's caused by mutations in the collagen 6 genes. There are three collagen 6 genes and mutations in the collagen 6 genes can cause this disease. What we're trying to understand is how the mutations cause the disease and what you can do about it. Uh, so for the collagen 6 genes, it's interesting that mutations are often acting as a dominant, meaning they're causing a toxic product from the mutant gene that uh, interferes with the normal collagen 6. We're devising therapies trying to detoxify uh, the muscle from this product, the mutant product. So we're trying to knock down the mutation uh, readout from the mutant gene using oligonucleotide sRNA and also CRISPR-Cas approaches. That um, is particularly relevant for a new and common mutation that we found in collagen 6, which is a deep intronic mutation, a mutation that has been hidden from our analysis thus far, and it causes a pseudoexon, a toxic pseudoexon to be spliced into the collagen 6 gene, and we're trying to skip that out using oligonucleotide therapies. Um, this is a highly individualized therapy, so we have to devise a therapy for each individual mutation that we find in the collagen 6 genes. It is really a prime example of precision medicine or tailor-made medicine uh, for a particular mutation for a particular patient. Uh, so that's the goal in our laboratory, is to be precise about the diagnosis leading to precise therapies for individual patients. Organizations like the AFM will play a big role in making possible that uh, therapies become available for even mutations that are very rare and for patients that are not large in numbers. Um, so that is a, a project that will be, ne by necessity, have to be funded by uh, public funds, by patient advocacy, uh, and the AFM will play a big role in making that possible, that the research can really go down to the level of the individual patients. Yeah.